Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a little bit of a pencil case unboxing since I have been in Europe for the last almost three weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching my last three weeks worth of videos. I actually worked really hard to get all of those pre-filmed, edited, and scheduled to go out while I was gone so I could enjoy my vacation. I also wanted to do a little bit of a plug for my Instagram where I did have a few travel photos and things like that and if you want to keep up with me more so throughout the week I do post to my Instagram as well as my Twitter pretty regularly and I thought while I was unpacking which is going to take forever because who likes unpacking. I might as well show you guys what art supplies I took with me on our nearly three week trip through three different countries. We went to London, Rome, and Berlin. And I wanted to pack pretty lightly, which is a pretty big challenge for me. I wanted something that I had a little bit of variety with the various art supplies that I brought with me but I also wanted to be able to pack really lightly, not only traveling there, but taking supplies with me on a day-to-day -day basis. As we're mostly walking through each of the cities, I wanted to have the flexibility to be able to stop, sit, and do some plain air painting, which I didn't do, unfortunately. I did have that intention while I was packing these art supplies. So I figured I would start with the paper I brought. I did decide to bring this little moleskin journal with me that has lined paper, and I mostly wanted to bring this so when I did have inspiration for a video or some sort of art piece, an illustration, I could quickly just jot it down. I actually have a list here in the front of various uh, YouTube video ideas that I started before I started traveling and added to throughout. While it's not necessarily a sketchbook per se, I do find this to be more of an art supply in the sense of this is where I was sort of capturing inspiration in word form, as well as I did sort of tape in some little ticket stubs and things like that that I did want to hold on to and may or may not influence some art illustrations in the future. For an actual sketchbook um, that isn't watercolor or marker or some other wet media based, I had this little moleskin sort of style notebook that I believe I found, I think I found this at uh, Daiso. I think so. <laughs> uh, but it had kind of its own little logo on the front that I didn't really like, especially since it was gold. I'm not a gold person. So I put this little label over um, and this is just plain paper. It's nothing fancy. There's not a lot of tooth to the paper. I just wanted something that, again, I could sort of stick things in. So I know it's a little bit hard to see and I played with the brightness a little here, but I wanted to show you some of the things I did in the sketchbook. I just used um, these pages to just quickly create thumbnails to better get down ideas that I had, either inspiration that was recorded in my other notebook that I wanted to capture visually uh, to some more detail, or I did some other things with capturing inspiration like these coin rubbings that I actually did at the London History Museum. Next up was the actual watercolor paper that I took with me because I did want to have the option to do some plein air watercolor painting if I wanted to. And instead of bringing a sketchbook, since all the sketchbooks I have are on the larger size, I did something that I've actually done for traveling quite a bit. Uh, it's not the prettiest, <laughs> but this is a way that I keep my pages together and fairly 
protected. This is just a stack of the Canson watercolor paper that I typically use. I cut it down to a sort of manageable book size and I use binder clips to just keep everything nice and flat. And this actually came in really handy because I am able to keep pages uh, very flat, especially if they've warped a little bit since I don't have them pre-stretched or anything like that. I can um, bind all of them back together and it helps to keep things flat. I also wanted to mention that this was really handy because I ended up uh, collecting some leaves in London and I wanted to press them to be able to preserve them and bring them back home in one piece. It was not a good idea to paint my nails right before doing this video. <laughs> So, uh, like I mentioned, there's just a stack of watercolor paper in here. Some of these pieces now have been used, some of them are still blank, and um, I have a sort of thicker chipboard that I have on this side and this side. Uh, let's see what we have here. So, I can just quickly show you guys what I did create with the art supplies that I brought with me. This is actually a postcard watercolor set that I picked up that will be in my art supply haul, which will be coming in the next few weeks. But I do have it in here, like I mentioned, it had gotten a little uh, warped and I was able to keep it in here and it kept it pretty flat. I did experiment with some mixing some watercolors with the watercolor palette that I did bring with me and um, one of the days I just I felt like painting, I didn't have anything sketched out, um, so I just did some color swatching uh, to kind of get me back in the mood for painting and things like that. Here are the leaves that I was able to bring back with us. Here is a very special color swatch sheet that is from some more special art supplies that I did pick up for myself that will be in an upcoming video. Here's a quick sketch I did, <laughs> quick sketch I did one of our first nights in London of the uh, Westminster Abbey. So hopefully I will paint that and a lot of paper that I did not use, but I had it just in case. So let's get into the actual art supplies because that's probably what you're here for. I did bring this big thicker bag, it's sort of a faux leather, and this other zipper pouch of mine that one of my bestest friends <laughs> made for me. Um, and you probably will see a lot of these throughout videos because um, they are so handy for art supplies. So thank you, Anne. Um, I decided to bring some cheapy uh, water-soluble markers that I've literally had forever. I don't know when I bought these, but they were back in time when I was doing more crafting things and more um, scrapbook esque things in my life. Not videos, but just that kind of art time in my life. What I decided is instead of bringing alcohol markers, especially my expensive Copic markers, which I am always a little iffy about bringing on airplanes, and we were actually going to be going on... We were going to be going, and we did, go on seven, seven different airplanes. Um, and I've heard that having uh, alcohol markers and markers in general um, on planes in the pressurized air, things like that, um, can explode on you and get damaged. Um, maybe I read into that just a little bit more than I needed to, but I thought I would just not take alcohol markers with me on this trip. And instead, I would take some water-soluble ones and play around with those if I felt like I needed to just grab a color rather than mixing something um, to color something pretty quickly. And these were cheaper, uh, and I figured if they did explode, um, I was gonna not be as sad about it, I guess. <laughs> uh, so they have a couple tips on them. I ended up not using these a ton, but I did wanna have sort of a set of art supplies that were 
very convenient for me to just grab a color and color if I really felt like I needed to get something down. So that is all I brought with me in this pouch. And on to my main larger pouch. So first and foremost, I have some paper towels because watercolor and I like these thick ones and I just recently got them. I know there's another one in here. Well, we'll get there. But I did want to bring my own just to have them with me, especially for painting on the plane and things like that. I didn't have to find something. So I had those. Along with painting on the go, I did bring a variety of my water brushes. Um, obviously, I have my watercolor travel set that I made a video for on right before I left. And I did want to show you guys uh, that I did use it. <laughs> uh, I still have some color kind of mixed in the little pans I've created up here. Uh, if you are interested in seeing how I made this and talk a little bit about putting it together, uh, I have a video that I will have come up above and it'll be down in the description. But uh, I did use this quite a bit. I am pretty unforgiving with my travel palettes. Uh, I'm not that much better with my palettes in my studio. I like to get messy. I feel like art supplies are meant to be used. And the more careful I am with things, the less I can sort of get into my creative flow. I did have one thing I wanted to mention that I did notice. Um, so I have these pans that I made out of the hot glue and I must not have gotten the best seal because I did have a little bit of leakage through one, but aside from that, everything worked perfectly. Uh, I did bring some of my, oh, they're all gonna just fall out. Let's just, let's get messy. Um, I did bring a variety of my recent Ikea watercolor brushes, or I guess, paint brushes. I don't think they're specifically watercolor, but they're nice and soft uh, in case I wanted to do a wash, um, which I don't do a lot. Uh, I wanted to bring this and a couple of these for when we were painting back at our Airbnbs. As far as sketching things goes, I, I honestly just always take way too much stuff with me. Um, I have a pencil sharpener here that I got from Daiso that I thought was a cute color um, and it has a couple different sizes and it's contained which is always nice especially when you are traveling. Uh, I also have one of my favorite uh, sketching pencils that's also from Daiso. This is actually um, a mechanical pencil that has a pretty hard lead in it. I'm actually not sure what kind of lead it is, but it forces me to draw a lot softer and lighter and it's easier to erase. So I tend to do that when I'm using, ooh, <laughs> when I'm using graphite. And I also have an erasable pencil that I got from Target. This is just a paper mate. Um, it's sort of, my copy of the Pilot Eno pencils. I think that's what they're called. Um, it's not the best. It doesn't erase completely if you draw pretty darkly, but uh, it's a nice purple lead, which is a fun, different thing to do. I have this, this is my favorite. Uh, Prismacolor Colorace. I believe it's lavender. I know you can't really see it, but uh, I have it in a pencil extender because it is very small and it is probably my favorite color to sketch with. Along those lines of that same brand, um, I have the pink, the indigo blue, which is probably my second favorite, or possibly tied with the lavender. And... Um, I did bring my Prismacolor uh, Magic Rub eraser. I have quite a few of these, so I just kind of threw that in there. And honestly, my favorite eraser to use, and I'm pretty bummed because I'm just about out <laughs> of the refill that's in here, is this, uh, is it Paper Mate? Is it, oh. I thought this was Paper Mate, but I do not see any sort of indication of what it is. I probably have rubbed it off, but it's one of those mechanical eraser kinds of things. Um, and that is all I have left in this one. I think I have another one somewhere, but I 
intend on buying more because there's something about just having the convenience of being able to have a pencil shaped eraser that is a little bit smaller. I feel like I can get a little bit more detail um, and the eraser has been super great. So this is actually something I take with me quite a bit. And some few random things in the back here. I did bring a couple things of washi tape and that was mostly for sticking things in my journals. Um, it was actually really handy to have these. I ended up um, needing to tape something else down um, of the art supplies. I bought a palette that doesn't quite close super well and so uh, using the tape was handy. So I just, having tape in general is nice. Having pretty tape is definitely nice, so brought some of that. Oh, and then it's just sort of a mod podge of various. Oh, there's another one. I use that one. Look. Uh, yeah, I have a variety of colored pencils for shading over my watercolors and some colors that I really like. These are pretty much all Prismacolor um, Premier and inking tools. Uh, some of my favorites are the Microns, so I do have a uh, blue, a pink, uh, purple, black, I believe. Now this is another black that's a different size. More Sharpies than I realized I had brought. And a couple, nope, one brush pen from Daiso because yes. And a couple more just writing pens, um, more so than for inking, but for sketching down or drawing in either the sketchbook or the lined book that I brought. And another inking pen in a color and my jelly roll white pen for highlights. I used probably a tenth of these supplies, <laughs> which I feel like is not so surprising for me that I'm definitely an over planner, over packer, and I like to be prepared. I felt like I had not underpacked, but I, I felt like I had like nixed quite a few things that I could have brought, and I felt pretty proud of myself for how little I brought with me and seeing it all sort of spread out. Uh, yeah, I maybe should uh, not have been so proud of myself. Uh, this is what I brought with me for traveling on a fairly large trip. I did enjoy that I could um, leave some of the stuff at home some days. Some days I only brought a pencil, like this pencil and an eraser and the sketchbook just because I knew I wasn't going to be painting. I wouldn't have time. We packed a lot into our days, so I didn't have a lot of space for sitting out and just taking half a day to sketch at one of the beautiful locations we were visiting. But I also am not the type to just jump in, see a new place, be inspired, and start working on a painting. I am a far slower processor, and so I am more the type to gather inspiration and either work on something back at the place we were staying at each night, or collect everything at the end of the trip and now begin sort of filtering through all of the inspiration the photos, the sketches I took, and the footage I took, and I will start putting some pieces together that I was definitely inspired to start working on. I definitely have some illustration series and just sets that I want to start working on that are inspired by each of the countries that we did visit and the people there and the amazing sights and I will be slowly infusing that into quite a lot of my videos here on YouTube. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and if you want to stick around, hear more from me uh, and 
see more about my art adventures here on my channel, make sure that you subscribe so you can stick around longer and see where this journey goes. And I hope you have a creatively fulfilled day and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Uh, now I have to put all these away. Maybe they can just live over here for a little while. That's good enough. Yeah. That's, nope, 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 nope. There we go. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. All nice and clean. Nobody needs to see that. Nobody needs to see that I didn't put things away. Nope, nope. Illusions. Yes. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. There you go. Well done.